Hello, hello, dear listeners, and welcome back to Cozy Science, the place where we wrap you in the wonders of science like a warm and cozy blanket. And today it is episode 74, and here we are stepping back in time to explore some ancient mysteries and cosmic revelations. Have you ever wondered how a single drop of rain might have sparked life on Earth? Or what secrets are hidden in dinosaurs' footprints on opposite sides of Atlantic? If you are curious about how the past shapes our present and our future, of course, then this episode is for you. But after a very short intro. So, let's start our journey with an extraordinary discovery that connects continents and spans millions of years with article number one, matching dinosaurs or dinosaurs footprints across continents. Imagine standing in Texas, looking at the ground and seeing the footprints of a dinosaur that once roamed there. Now, imagine someone in France doing the same thing and finding identical prints. Sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, right? But actually it is real. Researchers recently discovered matching dinosaurs' footprints on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. These footprints belong to the same species, suggesting that millions of years ago, dinosaurs walked across a landmass that connected to these distant lands. And this discovery helps scientists um, piece together how continents have drifted apart over time and gives us a glimpse into the ancient world where dinosaurs once roamed freely. From the giants of the past to the people who hunted them, let's shift our focus to the Ice Age and the techniques early humans used to survive with study number two. In the frozen landscapes of the Ice Age, humans faced the daunting task of hunting mammoths. If you are, do not remember, mammoths are massive creatures with thick hides and tusks. But how did they do it, you might ask? Well, recent research suggests that instead of using throwing spares, early hunters may have relied on planted pines sharp stakes placed in the ground, and when a mammoth charged, it would impale itself on these hidden weapons. This method was not only effective, but also shows the ingenuity of our ancestors in overcoming the challenges of their environment. Understanding these ancient techniques gives us deeper insights into how early humans adapted and thrived in harsh conditions. Now, let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture of human evolution, especially the parts we might be missing with study number three, fossil hotspots in human evolution. Africa is often called the cradle of humanity because so many important fossils have been found there. But what if focusing too much on these so-called fossil hotspots is obscuring the full picture of human evolution? Scientists are now saying that we might be missing out on crucial details because fossils from other regions aren't getting the same attention. And this research highlights the importance of looking beyond the well-known sites to gain a more complete understanding of how humans evolved. It's a reminder that science is always evolving, just like the story of our own origins. Speaking of origins, let's explore a fascinating new theory about how life itself might have started with a simple drop of rain with study number four, rainwater and the formation of protocell walls. 
Have you ever wondered how the first life forms on Earth came to be? New research suggests that rainwater might have played a key role. When rain fell on ancient Earth, it could have helped to form the walls of protocells. Protocells are the tiny structures that are thought to be the precursors to life. These protocells、uh, could trap important molecules inside, protecting them from the outside environment and allowing them to develop into more complex forms. And this discovery gives us a new perspective on the humble beginnings of life and shows how something as simple、uh, as rain could have sparked the incredible diversity of life we see today. And from the origins of life to the survival of species, let's talk about a surprising connection between ancient microbes and our modern immune systems with study number five. So next time you get a cold or a flu, you might want to thank your microbial ancestors. Researchers have found that the ancient microbes that lived millions of years ago, even billions of years ago, have left a lasting legacy in our immune systems. These microbes fought off viruses in their time, and the genes they pass down help us to do the same today. It is fascinating to think that our ability to fight off disease is deeply rooted in the ancient past, showing once again how interconnected life on Earth truly is. Now, let's take a journey beyond Earth to the early solar system, where meteors can tell us about the origins of comets. We start at number six. Did you know that meteor showers can shed light on where comets formed in the early solar systems? Scientists have been studying the particles from these showers to trace back the origins of comets. By analyzing the composition of meteors, researchers can determine which parts of the solar system a comet came from and what conditions were like when it was formed. These research. Could also help us to understand the early days of our solar system, and provide clues about the building blocks that eventually led to plants, to planets, moons, and even life itself. And by the way, if you want to read a bit more about these articles, you can always find all of them in the description section below. And finally, let's talk about a dramatic event in space that shows how we are actively shaping the future of our solar system with the last study number seven. NASA DART mission made headlines last year when it was successfully altered the orbit of an asteroid moon by crashing a spacecraft into it. This wasn't just a cool space stunt; it was a test of our ability to protect Earth from potential asteroid impacts. And the mission permanently changed the shape and orbit of the asteroid moon, proving that we can indeed alter the path of celestial objects. And this kind of planetary defense could be crucial in the future, making sure that we are ready if a hazardous asteroid ever comes our way. But as always, you might ask, well, why does all all of this research matter? Well, because it connects us to both our ancient past and our cosmic future. Understanding where we come from and how we are evolved gives us the tools to face the challenges ahead, from the dinosaurs that walked across continents to the asteroids who might one day deflect. Science helps us to navigate the mysteries of our world and beyond. And here's a little something for you to ponder on: if you could travel back in time to witness one of these ancient events, like the hunting of a mammoth or the formation of protocells, what would you choose and why? Or perhaps,、uh, perhaps you would choose another event. Let's、um, discuss it. For me, it would be the agricultural revolution, where you know the、um, Babylon—not the Babylon, but the、um, the、uh, first humans were born、um, when they settled down, and when all of the human story, like the I would say modern humanity, started to build with first cities, first plants, first wars, first diplomacy, and so on and so forth. What about you?
let's share our imaginations and thoughts. And of course, a little advice. So, next time you are out in the rain, take a moment to appreciate the drops as they fall. Who knows, you might be walking through the very elements that once sparked life on our planet. And before we say goodbye, let's take a quick look back in history with On This Day segment. So, on this day in 1958, the USS Natalis became the first submarine to travel under the North Pole, making history with its journey beneath the ice. And in 1908, this, the discovery of a nearly complete Neanderthal skeleton in France challenged our understanding of human evolution. And these moments remind us of the incredible progress we have made in exploring both our world and our origins. And otherwise, that's it for today's episode of Cozy Science. I hope you enjoyed this journey through time and space. Remember, the past, present and future are all connected, and understanding those connections helps us make better choices today. And of course, stay curious, stay updated, and as always, stay cozy. See you next time.